And now a page from our Sunday morning almanac. December 7th, 1863, 145 years ago today. A day made to order for folks who order from catalogs. For it was on that day that Richard Warren Sears was born in Stewartville, Minnesota. Sears was just 22 years old when he started a watch selling business with repairman Alvis C. Roebuck as his partner. Before long, Sears Roebuck was offering a full range of merchandise in its huge and eye-catching mail order catalog, which could be found in almost every home in the land, including, as it happens, the thousands of homes that were built from the do-it-yourself kits that Sears sold until 1940, homes with distinctive names such as the Alhambra and the Osborne. By the mid-1900s, Sears was America's biggest retailer. In 1973, the company literally reached the heights with its 1,450-foot-tall Sears Tower in Chicago, at the time, the tallest building in the world. Still, all was not well. The loyal customers saw quality and dependability. Others, fairly or not, saw a bland and unexciting store. An image that was gently mocked in the 1995 Brady Bunch movie. Put on your Sunday best, kids. We're going to Sears. Oh, no! All right! But for Sears executives, the store's shifting fortunes were no laughing matter. Upstart discount retailers led by Walmart were overtaking Sears. And in the early 1990s, the company shut down most of its iconic catalog business. Three years ago, Sears and rival Kmart merged into a single company, which just this week announced its worst ever quarterly loss. Sears says some store closings are in the works, as the old watch salesman's company keeps scrambling to cope with changing times.